my name is Priva Namanya Wesje and uh, I am the team leader for the National Banner Research Program which is located at, at NAL, the National Agricultural Research Laboratory in Skawanda, one of the narrow institutes of agricultural research. Banana is one of the one of the ten priority national crops that have been prioritized by the um, National Planning Authority in NDP3 uh, as, as a national priority food crop. But banana is, uh, is, is beyond just food. It has great potential for, uh, for, commercial, for commercialization and for, uh, for industry. It has high industrial potential. Well, the main mandate of, of, of the National Banner Research Program under NARO has been to generate technologies for, um, for improving production and, uh, and technologies for uh, improving farmer, farming communities and productivity at farming level. The, the, the program in line with the NDP3 has reorganized itself in terms of uh, human resource in terms of uh, um, infrastructure, in terms of partnerships, to to fit into uh, into this this uh, and together with its with, with our partnerships to reorient to support agro uh, agro industrialization agenda. Rose Banana Team uh, wants to see the gains that have been attained in research reach into the the industry. So agro industrialization is part of. It has moved into the heart of what, of, of what we are doing and we have changed our mode of operation. The, our engagement, with the, we are now engaging with private sector, we are engaging with policy more, we are engaging with local government, we are, we are engaging with the uh, people that are involved in the whole range of the value chain. Today they are part of the team that uh, advises and speaks into the banana research. Um, the, the purpose of our engagement with the private sector and the different stakeholders really is to operate in a coordinated manner so that uh, research provides technologies that are relevant to the industry. That way together we shall increase not only the number of technologies, you know, n not only the number of products that are on the market, but also the value that comes from them. And at the end of the day, the farmer who who is the person who provides the basic raw material also benefits from that one much. So he's not getting just food, but much more than food if the rest of the parts of the, of the plant are being put to, to additional values.